All right, what's going on guys? Trap back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video review for the premiere of a new television series which aired on Sci-Fi Friday night, uh, January 10th, 2014, and that is of a new sci-fi thriller which is called Helix. Right, so I hadn't actually seen the trailers or anything for this new series, but uh, one of my friends Nathan told me, you got to check out this new show. It's called Helix. It looks like it's going to have some kind of, you know, zombies or something of the sort, and uh, it just looks really good. It's on sci-fi. So I went ahead and checked it out. I'll read the description for those of you guys who don't know anything about it. Uh, it says from the wiki, Helix is an American science fiction thriller television series that premiered on sci-fi. Uh, the series follows a team of scientists from the Centers of Disease Control or Center for Disease Control, uh, particularly the one in Atlanta is where our main you know, crew comes from, and they basically travel to a research facility in the Arctic to investigate a potential outbreak of a disease of some kind. While there, they find themselves stuck in a life or death situation that could decide the fate of the future of mankind. Helix will be, ex okay, so we've got uh, the person who's doing it is the same person that did Battlestar Galactica, uh, which uh, I've seen a, f a, a few episodes from. I thought it was, you know, Battlestar Galactica is a really good show. It was on for a long time. Uh, this one's going to run 13 episodes at least for the first season, and the premiere uh, last night was uh, two, Pilot and Vector, uh, the first two uh, episodes. So it was like a two-hour block which a lot of uh, TV series are doing right now for their premieres. So this one came on kind of unexpected. I didn't expect to be doing a review for it, didn't expect to be checking it out, but uh, once I saw the trailer for it, it you know, I, I really wanted to, to see how it uh, see how it was. I'll put the trailer, a link to the trailer in the description so you guys can click there to go ahead and check out the series and see if it's something you'd be interested in. Basically, uh, they're not exactly zombies, you know. Um, and it's, it's centered in the Arctic in this like research facility base type thing. So um, they're, you know, working on creating all kinds of different uh, things there. There's about 150 or so scientists there, mostly doctors, uh, this kind of thing, you know, who, who basically have free reign because it's sort of out in the middle of nowhere uh, without any kind of restrictions to research or create whatever they want, this type of, this type of thing. So um, basically, uh, Peter, who is our main character's brother, uh, is there. He's a doctor, so is his brother, who's the main character. Uh, let's see, Alan is the name of our, our lead, who travels from the CDC in Atlanta to the Arctic to basically um, try to help his, once he finds out that his brother is one of the people that have been infected with this contagion, uh, this virus, so to speak. And um, essentially, when he gets there, he sees him, and, uh, you know, he tries to help him, I guess, but before too long, Peter kind of escapes and, you know, gets out into the, uh, like, the ventilation system of this big facility and starts going around and basically is like your, uh, your thriller type of, uh, you know, uh, antagonist that goes around and, and is leading the uh, sort of um, infected side of things to spread this virus. Now, what it is, it doesn't exactly spread like a zombie uh, virus would where they'll bite, you know, a zombie will bite another person and then they'll be infected and then thus they'll go and bite others. This one's a little bit different than that, even though it's the same kind of concept, but there's some crucial differences. They don't bite, but they get really close and they sort of like breathe into their mouths, this kind of thing, get really, really close. Maybe through the saliva or close breath, it, uh, it tends to... Uh, infect others and, and transmit um, but it doesn't seem like it's airborne like per se like if you were in a room with someone who had it you wouldn't necessarily get it but certain ones that become infected with it become aggressive attack others and spread it on now the thing about it though that's interesting is unlike zombies they do retain their uh, intellect so they're just as intelligent as they were beforehand they use strategy and different things like that but it basically the way they explain it is that it reprograms their uh, brain or consciousness basically to uh, be compelled to spread the contagion through this you know close mouth 
type breathing, um, you know, thing that they do, <laughs> which is, uh, it's, it's different. You know, um, I do think that the visuals in it are really amazing. The way the infected look, they have like, their blood turns like black and it's really kind of like gross and, you know, all these different types of, uh, you know, looks that they have and their veins coming out and, and just, just the makeup itself is, is really different, really cool. They don't look like your atypical uh, zombies per se, but, uh, cause they're not, you know, obviously, but uh, they are fairly interesting, and I am fairly interested from this uh, series after seeing the premiere of the first uh, couple um, episodes of it. Um, so let's see, anything else I really wanted to say? I mean, it's uh, it's it's a pretty thrilling show. I mean, the, the premiere was pretty exciting when you see, you know, you don't really know who to trust. You have your main core small group of characters from the CDC that are there and um, I just kind of laugh because it's like makes me think from Atlanta CDC of The Walking Dead right uh, and you know there aren't there aren't many similarities between them I would compare this to kind of like maybe something like 28 days later mixed with like Alien or something like that but instead of them being in outer space they're inside this big base in the Arctic so it's 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 got a lot of similarities you know uh, between uh, Alien and this type of thing. And, uh, you know, if you like the whole sciencey thing behind, um, you know, these types of viruses or infections or zombies or things like this, I think this is a series you definitely would like a lot. If you're more just about the kind of survival, wide open type uh, horror like uh, The Walking Dead, you may not like this show as much because it is really closed in, obviously, based on their environment. And it has a lot of that science because mainly our main cast is scientists. So they're not really fighters. They're not really warriors. They don't come down with uh, assault rifles or anything like that. About the best it seems like they have is like um, tasers and, you know, you know things like that that uh, could keep people at bay or maybe knives. But uh, I don't even think I saw even one gun in the entire uh, premiere, which is not a bad thing. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's all I really have to say about uh, Helix so far. Um, wanted to get a review out there for the premiere. In terms of a premiere episode, honestly, this was great. It was really, really cool. The visuals were awesome. The uh, the infection was interesting. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of really crappy, like, you know, zombie type stuff out there. But I don't think this is one of them. I think this is a really solid, cool show. And I definitely think that people who like this genre of sci-fi horror like Alien, like um, Prometheus, and all those different types of um, uh, movies would definitely enjoy this uh, this series. So for what it is, you know, sort of like a sci-fi horror, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's really, really solid and definitely something you guys should check out if you haven't already. You can find it online too and just watch the streaming if you want. Uh, I would highly recommend it. And for anyone who has seen Helix, uh, please write in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about it because I did think it was a pretty interesting new series and I think I'm going to check it out again next week and, uh, and stick with it for a while. Don't know if I'll be doing reviews week to week, you know, on a weekly basis because there's only a few shows I do that for. But, um, you know, definitely one uh, I'm going to check out a few more episodes from, I think, because it is, it is a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, pretty much all i got to say about Helix, a uh, great new show. Definitely check it out if you guys haven't, and I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.